Hello friends and welcome back to the cottage. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're here. And if you're new, hello and welcome. I'm so glad you've decided to join us at the cottage. Oh gosh, you guys, I, I am trying to make a really big decision. A really, really big decision. And I really need my Dolly friend's advice on this. As you can see on the screen, Isla is with me today. And Esme and Raspberry the Bear are in the back. Um, and um, if you watched my previous videos, or watched my last couple of videos, you would know that um, that I put Isla up for adoption on Reborns.com. And you know what? It's not the first time I have done that, to be honest with you. I have put Isla up for adoption on Reborns.com, I would say, two other times. Um, prior to this last time, so like three times, I've put her on Reborns.com, chickened out, and taken her off Reborns.com. I know, that sounds crazy. It's, it just sounds absolutely crazy. And if you've ever done that before, please comment down below because I, I truly do feel crazy. <laughs> I truly feel crazy. Um, anyway. Flop down in a comfy chair, grab yourself something cold to drink, hot to drink, whatever you're in the mood for. Um, I have got a lot to talk to you guys um, about and I am really counting on you guys, my Dolly friends, to leave me lots of comments and just tell me, you know, what you think, what you think about this situation. But grab yourself a drink. I'm going to have a sippy sippy of my... I have got a peach bubbly water, which it's, I have to say, fabulous. And then I'm literally going to climb up on this bed. And when I say climb up on this bed, I do not kid you. This bed is so high that I almost have to take a running leap at it. <laughs> it's so high. This platform it's on. And I just have to show you where um, my my Layla girl is right now. Look at this. We went to HomeSense yesterday and we got her a really fancy bed. It's so, so soft. I let her try like three or four beds before this one. She just kind of laid down <laughs> and was like, okay, this is the one. Um... And the reason she is in her bed is because I'm moving around the room, you know, going through drawers. And and uh, after that last incident where she jumped off the bed and um, and she pinched a nerve in her back, uh, it scared me so badly that um, I just decided that if I'm moving around, if we go to bed, that's fine. She, once we're in bed, we're in bed. But um, if we're, I'm moving around the room, you know, dressing babies and stuff, she's going to go in her bed on the floor because I know she's not going to jump off and hurt herself. So, okay. So, back to little Miss Isla here. Isla is, she is a spectacular baby. Uh, she was painted by Alexander Taylor Hughes. She is the oldest baby in my nursery. I have had her for a long time. I'd have to go back and look how long I've had her. But I've had her for quite a long time. Like she has made it through I don't know how many cuts. You know, whenever I was doing my big downsizing, um, she made it through the cuts. Because um, Alexander Taylor Hughes paints um, like, I don't know, you know, like I, I've told you guys in the past. she's She paints prototype quality dolls like... Her dolls are, have like 3D skin and um, Isla's, you know, mono rooted and, but I put her on Reborns.com again for the third time. I put her so reasonably priced that I thought she would sell in about 30 seconds because she's such a high-end doll and such a popular sculpt. 
but that was five days ago and um, there's a lot of people that have you know put her favorited her whatever that means I think um, I don't know if you know what favorited means I know it just means people I don't know I think are following the listing or something I mean she's got like I don't know a dozen people that have favorited her listing but Nobody has uh, jumped on her purchase, and um, that makes me think, you know, I'm not selling um, Isla, or I didn't I didn't put Isla up for adoption for financial reasons. I um, was able to uh, pay off my new silicone baby girl that is on her way here from the UK. Um, by uh, by adopting out Liam and um, Jade. They paid off my credit card. But I put Isla up as I have two other previous times because at some point I just lost my bond with her. Um, yeah, I just lost my bond with her. Like I just don't, and you know, you guys know my, my collection is so small now that I only want to have babies here in the nursery that I that I, that I just am in love with, and um, not saying they don't love her, but I just I don't know. I hope you guys can understand what I'm talking about. I just my bond just it's not there. I don't feel I don't feel like dressing her. I don't feel like picking her up, um, and she's a stunningly beautiful baby. And so anyway, like I said. She, uh, she's been on Reborns.com for five days. I've not had any inquiries. Um, there's been a lot of, you know, a lot of people have clicked on her ad. Um, and $5.50 for a doll of this quality is like insane. Like insane. I mean, big beginner artists or artists that are, you know, not prototype artists or very new, um, you know, are asking over a thousand dollars for their babies. Um, on reborns.com nowadays so I mean it's just an insane price and she's a toddler you know she's not like a sleeping newborn anyway when I got up this morning I went out and did chores and I and I came back and I've had her in the spare bedroom um, with the two babies that I have uh, that I've sold and uh, just because you know when I'm gonna sell a baby I don't like to look at them in the nursery it makes me feel guilty I know they're dolls but that's just how I feel. If 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 they're going, then um, I like them to um, not be here in the nursery and <laughs> be looking at me and making me feel guilty. Anyway, I got up this morning and I was thinking, you know, um, maybe I should try something different. Like maybe actually the first thought I had was maybe I should change her eyes I have never been a huge fan of her eyes um, even though they're German glass you know they're the highest quality um, they're beautiful but I feel like they make her look a little bit like intense um, I don't know I'm not not really been a big huge fan of her eyes never have um, you guys are probably thinking, you're nuts. They're beautiful. They are beautiful, but I don't know. Maybe it's the size of the pupils, but I just find that she has kind of an intense look about her. So I was thinking maybe I should change her eyes to like, I don't know, something totally different. Like, uh, like a warm brown or, um, maybe a darker blue or I'm not really sure. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for ways to reconnect with her so that she can stay in my nursery. Anyway, um, I, you know, I've been thinking about it all morning while I was, you know, doing all my chores. And then I thought, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I am, you know, of course, sending Liam, my um, silicone baby boy, to the UK on Monday. He's found a wonderful, wonderful mommy. Um, he is going back to the UK, which is crazy because um, uh, he's literally a world traveler. He started out in Canada. He was poured at the Dainty Loft. We're talking about Liam, my silicone here. Um, he went all the way 
to Alexander's babies and he got, you know, painted and rooted by Alexander Taylor Hughes, same artist as Isla, and then went to Suzanne's, was with Suzanne, and then went back to Canada um, to Jen, and then back, and then to a different part of Canada, a different province, to me, and now he, well, he is actually a she named Rosie, and she is going back to the UK. So, you know what? I feel like it's all, it was all meant to be. Anyway, um, I, um, I decided I'm going to try Isla as a boy because I, I no longer have a boy in the nursery and I don't know, there's something about, um, like I said, I, I, I never like loved her eyes and I thought about changing her eyes today, but I popped her head off and pulled all the stuffing out and realize that she has those round, perfectly round, like orbs with like a stem coming out of it. You know, the hand blown glass eyes. Um, and they are glued into her sockets. So they are never, ever going anywhere. Um, or not by me anyway. Um, maybe an artist could manage something like that, but definitely not me. So her eyes will remain as is. So I thought maybe maybe I should try her as a boy. Like I have had many many dolly friends over the years say, if you are having trouble with a, your bond, try your baby as a boy. And I mean, I, Isla's been with me a really long time, and Isla is Isla. But I don't know, you know. I really want to keep her. I think I re I don't think I want her to go. But I'm struggling with my bond with her as a little girl. So I happen to have a boy, well it's gender neutral, but I actually bought it for when Esme was coming. When Esme was coming, I thought Esme was going to be a boy. So I bought this outfit thinking it would be for Esme. And then after my daughter and I got her put together, after she was painted and her, you know, beautiful Ico eyes were put in, I realized she's not a boy. Actually, it was my daughter who said, she's not a boy. She's a girl. And, um, you know, she's since been pretty much completely painted. And um, I can't picture her as a boy. She's just a girl to me. Anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to get... Um, Isla dressed in a boy outfit or I guess it, I mean to me it's more boy than girl but you could consider it gender neutral of course because I'm just going to show you it's a footless onesie um, it's made by homegrown baby which is a brand that uh, home sense and winners carry here in my part of Canada and it's adorable it's 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 off-white and it's just got all kinds of animals and, um, you know, dogs and turtles and it's got little houses. Like, it's a really, really cute outfit. Um, it's even got bunnies on it and it's all in uh, like a dove gray and taupe and a little bit of chocolate brown. And then um, it's got, uh, it's got heather gray cuffs. I really like this outfit actually. You know for a boy or a girl and then it came with a um, it came with a gray onesie with stars on it white stars and it also came with a bib and the bib has an elephant a rainbow a star and a moon so and then look at these shoes <laughs> Oh my gosh, um, these shoes were a gift. They are mayoral. You guys know how much I love mayoral. Um, and they're in a baby blue. I, You know what, I think this is the only outfit I have it's in six month boy. Um, and I, I have almost nothing in my boy drawer um, anymore because, um, because I've just had Liam who's newborn or preemie size. And everything I bought for him is going home to the UK with him. So if 
Isla is going to become a boy. Um, I've got this cute little elephant rattle, um, which I don't know what it, I always think of elephants as being more of a boy thing um, because uh, just because it's gray. And that's just my, you know, gray's not a color that I prefer for my girls because I like pink, <laughs> as you guys know. Anyway, we're going to get her dressed and then I want you guys to tell me what you think. Like, what could Isla be a boy? Because you know what? The more I think about it, the more I get kind of excited. It's almost like getting a new baby. And I'm starting to understand why people, um, when they've lost a bond with their baby, they try this, changing genders, and then it's literally like getting a new baby and they, you know, fall in love all over again. A hole. Huh. Okay. Okay, let's get you in this. And you know, the thing about, um, the thing about, um, the babies, you know, not being on a cloth body, if they, if their face is not too feminine, um, you know, you can do that. You know, there's a lot of sculpts that it's really just in the eye of the beholder, really. This is really cute. This outfit. But oh my gosh, you guys. The shopping potential. Because my boy drawer has like, I don't know, nothing in it. <laughs> I mean, once I took all the stuff out to ship with Liam, um, which uh, the, everything I bought for Liam was gender neutral anyway. Um, but my boy drawer is pretty much empty. So how cool is that? <laughs> A reason to shop? Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever will I do? Whatever will I do? A reason to shop for one of my babies? Oh, boy. <laughs> so you guys are probably wondering, hey, I thought you got a new baby. When are we sharing? When are you going to share that new baby with us? Well, that new baby had such a, such a trip over to the from the mainland to taking you know going away from her mom and this big trip that she has she's been sleeping quite a lot um since she came to the farm so uh, she's actually having a nap right now so i will be showing her as soon as i can kind of catch her in a wakeful period but you know what i have something Oh my gosh, I'm so full, ex uh, so full of exciting news. <laughs> so full of, I'm so full of exciting news. We had a baby goat born last night. Our goat Belle had a baby boy last night. And um, thank goodness we were home and everything went really well. Um, the vet's going to be coming uh, this week, of course, to check him over and give him his vaccination. Um but um yeah and this particular goat his mom um her name is Belle that's the name she came with from the from the the, the farmer that we bought her from and uh so we are calling him just sticking with the you know Disney theme we are calling him Prince Charming <laughs> isn't that so cute Look at these. Oh my gosh. Like, I can't even. So, yeah. Prince Charming. So, Prince Charming was born last night. And it was a really, it was a really uh, good, good birth. No complications this time. Not like when uh, Cosmo and uh, um, Poppy were born and Poppy was born breech. And that was pretty stressful, to be honest. But, um, no, his birth was really good. My daughter didn't have to help just a little tiny bit. And, um, and he's a beautiful baby and he's chocolate. 
this chocolate brown and white, like a really rich, rich chocolate brown. He's just stunning. But he's sure itty bitty, I'll tell ya. Anyway, I'm gonna take you guys, it's been pouring rain all day today, and uh, but when we get some clear weather, I'm gonna take you guys out to the barn and introduce you to our, our newest, newest baby born here. And we had some chicks hatch. So wow, you guys, we have a lot going on here at the farm. A lot going on here. Okay. So, we got, I'm going to call this a boy outfit. It looks very boy to me. It really does. It looks very boy. Okay, we're going to put the bib on. And then, and then, uh, there we go. Yeah, that looks very boy to me. Okay. You guys, this is, this is the real, this is going to really tell us, um, <laughs> Isla, what do you think? Do you want to be a boy? It seems so weird, you know, because I've had her for so long and I have, you know, a real relationship with her as Isla. Um, okay, ready? <laughs> Oh my gosh. One thing, she looks really good in blue, and I have bought a lot of clothing. I'm not a huge blue fan, um, because I'm a pink girl, but uh I have bought a lot of clothes specifically in blue for her. Okay, now how about this, you guys? How about this? <laughs> So, what do we think? What, here, I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see your shoes. What do we think? Could Isla be a little boy? Please comment down below. Because honestly, I'm feeling like maybe this is what I need to do, you know, to grow that real super attachment to her him her <laughs> you know what's so funny but when i um when uh my liam which is the rosalie sculpt my silicone got adopted by a beautiful lady um so kind um lady in the uk who is uh, subscribes to my channel and is in my dolly my private ladies facebook group when she adopted um liam she is going to call her rosie so she, liam is going to go back to being a girl and i'm going to you know send liam as rosie well liam is now rosie but when we've been talking back and forth on reborns.com um, I have to keep reminding myself to say she and, you know, because um, there's been, you know, a change in genders, clearly. And uh, anyway, kind of the same for Isla. I would have to come up with a, um, a boy's name for her. Him. <laughs> it's all very complicated, you guys. But seriously, what do you think? take that pacifier off the pacifier is really cute though I mean she he looks really good in blue so and gray actually um but you know I I've always called Isla my English rose so but I'm having a new English rose coming from the UK um and she in this particular English rose was actually poured painted and rooted by all English artists, all artists in the UK. So my baby that's coming is a really, really, truly an English rose. She's completely originated from the UK. So um, anyway, please comment down below, you guys. Um, tell me what you think, because I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling like you know, maybe this is what I needed to do to, um, 
And, I, you know, I really feel like she could be a little boy. The more I look at her, I feel like, yeah, she could be a little boy. And somehow I feel like her eyes suit better as a boy because her eyes are kind of, um, I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think anyway. And as always, take care.